morning. Welcome back to Children's Worship. My name is Kara Steubing. I'm the Director of Family Ministries. And I'm Ruth Ann Luckenbo. I'm the Children's Ministry Coordinator. We are so glad to be able to continue to gather with you in this manner. Thank you for welcoming us into your homes. Uh, as we get started, uh, we just want to remind you uh, why we're set up like this. Uh, so we are still in common time, in that growing time. Uh, our color of our cloth is going to be changing real soon. Um, so uh, I think this is our last week for, for green, so watch and see what color we are next week. Um, that's to match what is on the altar in our sanctuary. Um, we have our candles lit because Jesus is the light of the world. And we have our offering plate out uh, because that is part of our children's worship. That's part of our regular um, worship. Uh, but if you were here, we would uh, be hearing how your week went and we would be passing an offering plate around. Um, and you guys um, have in the past uh, collected enough money to buy animals uh, through Heifer International and uh, that is going to help better people's lives uh, and I think that's incredible. Um, so we like to be uh, reminded of the things that we have done when we gathered um, in person and that we will be doing when we gather in person um, and just to remind you uh, of, of, of some of the pieces of church. Um, the other thing we have up here is your um, compassion chart. Hopefully you guys have printed this out. Hopefully you are working on some of these things. Um, they have, there's, some, there's some really fun uh, things on here. I like the leave a heads up penny on the sidewalk. Uh, I don't know if you guys like picking up pennies that are heads up for good luck, uh, but I do. And uh, I think that that is a fun one. Um, some other things on here, send cards to a nursing home. Um, there's lots of folks, uh, you don't even have to know the people's names. You can just uh, send some cards and uh, there are folks that are very isolated that would love to get a little bit of cheer. Um, let's see, uh, there's, uh, and then there's some ones that, that might be a little bit easier that you could do almost on a daily basis. Uh, clean up your room without being asked. Um, you could bring in a neighbor's garbage can for them after the garbage is collected, please. Um, so there's lots and lots of options that you have. You can help make dinner. Um, so as I'm saying these, you might be like, wait, I did those things already. Uh, so print off your compassion chart, uh, mark them off, have your parents uh, contact us once you get to 10 of these things. Um, and we will uh, send you a prize. Uh, and uh, thank you for being part of our compassion challenge. All right. Uh, we are moving toward Thanksgiving, and so Ruth Ann today is going to be doing a lesson on thankfulness. So friends, this week is Thanksgiving, and Thanksgiving this year, yes, is going to probably be a little different, but you know what? I was thinking of something that I heard a long time ago, and I wanted to share it with you, and it has to do with a story that's told about the very first people here in America the pilgrims and their first Thanksgiving and actually it has to do with their very first winter they were here so when they first came they didn't really know much about this country or about how to plant things or how to grow things and they weren't in a place that it would necessarily things grow very easily so that first winter they were here they were very very hungry because there wasn't enough food and so they had to do what we call rationing, big word. And a ration means to only take a little bit. You only take a little bit, everybody gets just a little bit, and then hopefully there's enough for everybody to survive. So what they did that first winter, in order to have enough, some days they only had enough food for the people to have five pieces of corn. That is not very much not very much at all but it was enough for them to sustain themselves and to live and in the springtime when they came out of that cold winter and they could start to plant again they planted some of that corn they actually had it saved enough that they could plant some because they had met some of the people who knew how to plant things do you know who those people are called we call them the native americans right and so they helped them learn how to plant things and so oh they learned how to plant corn and so they learned how to plant corn and some other things. They learned how, what animals they could eat, what things they could have. And so they lived through that summer. They grew all the things that they needed. And when the fall came, 
and it was getting to be cold again, and they, they harvested all of the food. Well, then they remember that time that they only had five pieces of corn. And so on their plate for that Thanksgiving, they put one, two, three, four, five pieces of corn. And for when they celebrated Thanksgiving, they had five pieces of corn. And those five pieces of corn, they would use to help them remember the things they were thankful for. And so I don't have real corn here. I have candy corn, which you guys probably might like better than real corn. But candy corn, I have five pieces of candy corn. And so we might put those on our plate. So if you have candy corn left over from, thanks, from Halloween, you might. If you do, you might put it out on your plate and say, and, and for everybody at the table. And if you don't have it, you've got five fingers and those can help you remember. Five pieces of corn, five fingers. To remember to be thankful. So the first kernel reminds us that God loves us. That's a big one. The second one reminds us that God provides for us, for all of our needs. May not be everything we want, but all that we need. And so that's what they learned that first winter was they had enough, all that they needed. Okay, the third one reminds us of the friends who had given, that God has given us. Those friends, just like the Native Americans who helped them learn how to plant, we have friends who help us and care for us. Uh, the fourth one reminds us of all the people God has given us who love us. Maybe our moms, our dads, our grandparents. Maybe we can't all be together this Thanksgiving, but we can still remember them. And maybe we can do Zoom Thanksgiving. We're gonna do that at my house. We might do that. Or, and the fifth kernel uh, reminds us that God hears our prayers and answers our prayers with love and kindness. Maybe not the answer we're always looking for. It might be, sometimes the answer might be, uh, no, you don't get a new puppy this year. But it might be that you get your friend to come over and play, okay? So, but God hears our prayers, God cares for us, God comforts us, God loves us through all of these. In the Bible, it talks about God being thankful. It says in the book of Ephesians 5.20, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, always give thanks for everything to God. Always give thanks. Even when things are hard, we still can give thanks. So now let's say our prayer. God, thank you for providing for all of our needs and for loving us. We love you too. In Jesus' name.